Okay, Jerko. Now, we're at a collection system that was actually installed by the owner himself. This wasn't contracted. And look at this. He used a, uh, a trash can. And basically what he's doing is he's collecting the water off the roof that is going to fill up a storage facility he's going to use for irrigation, which we're going to talk about. But how much water? I, I heard some of their statistics here about the amount of capture. It depends, of course, on the size of roof you have. I know. This and is only 950 square feet home. This is a small home. Yeah. Uh, we're in an area where you, they, they took an average of 14 to 15 inches of rain a year. This area probably gets 25. So this is conservative. But with those numbers of 14 inches of rain a year, 7,500 gallons. So I think you're more like 10 or 12 or 15 thousand gallons of water yeah. to use in your irrigation. So it's a simple system. You made that point. This is very doable by yourself. Absolutely. You, you, you got to have gutters first. So let's assume most people have gutters. You hook up the pipes to the gutter. Uh, in this case, goes very simple house, front and back gutters. Coming to this simple trash can, this is basically, its job is to settle the sediment in, in the water. Dirt, leaves, stuff that might get through, settle into this. It comes and then it overflows and goes out these two pipes. Two pipes in, two pipes out. And it's kind of balanced to match the flow. Right. You don't want to have too much water. some cheesecloth on here, which just keeps the leaves and those types of things. Simple. And then it goes simply right underground. Well, and now, Turco, here we are. Here's the catchment system that we were talking about. Right. And uh, we had eight inches of rain here in our last storm not too long ago. 5,400 gallons was filled up one day. Right, one exactly. Day. And what's important about to, uh, to this homeowner is he's going to be having, back in this area, a greenhouse. He likes his agriculture and those types of things. So he's not reliant upon the city water systems. He's catching his own water, storing his own water, which will allow him then to have it throughout the entire year. And that's important because in California, at least, our rain comes for a short season. Sometimes too short, but yeah. it comes in a short season. Yeah. And then he's able to take that and start using it, not waiting until the summer. He's using it in his greenhouse right away. Now, important thing to note here, and it's hard to see maybe from the angle for, for you there at home, but it's, it's, the tank is lower than the greenhouse. The tank, of course, is downhill from the collection system. But he's got a small pump that's powered by solar energy. Right. We'll look at that later. Mm -hmm. Solar energy powers his small pump, and it comes on whenever he needs water at the other end. It, it, as, soon as, it, as soon as he asks for water, it turns the pump on and pumps the go. water. Very simple. Yeah. You know, yeah. two pipes in, and then you can control the water going out. You can take it to different locations. Absolutely. And this also settles out, once again, it's selling that sediment that may be in the water out. So, you know, system. one of the things that interests me about this as well is that, as an, as an example, flushing our toilets, we use drinking water oh. in the city and, and in the rural communities to flush our toilets with it. You know, just think about the uh, idea of capturing this water mm -hmm. and using it to flush your toilets. Now, again, it's going to have to go into a municipal water supply, mm -hmm. but nonetheless, it's the potable water that we need to protect because it is fading here in the state of California. All over it's fading, and I think, and we're pre-plumbing a lot of our projects now, so they're pre-plumbed, ready to take this recycled rainwater and use it in the toilets. It hasn't become code yet, but there are a lot of people working hard to get make sure that becomes a code because it is ridiculous to use yeah. drinking water, treated water to flush our toilets. Absolutely right.